All right, gang, and welcome back. Seven Seasons Studios, Jeremy Hazel here. This week, we've got a quick tip on going ahead and doing textures. So I got a request to do some textures. So let's go ahead and open up Affinity Designer. And let's go ahead and let's create a new file. Now, we're going to create a web 1080 by 1080, so just a square document, right? Go ahead and hit OK. Now, when this comes up in your download files, I've included the Seven Season Studios Winter Texture Pack. I went out with the camera, took a bunch of pictures. So these are some of the pictures that I thought made pretty good textures for different applications. We're only going to be doing one in this lesson. So go ahead and download it. And then I've also included my logo. You don't have to use a logo. You could certainly use a text layer. I went with a logo because it was a flat black image. So let's go ahead and go to File place find wherever you saved the logo or whatever you're going to use here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find mine where I normally keep my logos and it's says black on a transparent PNG and we're gonna click and we're gonna drag it out alright see the layer is over here black on transparent now let's go ahead and open up that texture file we'll go to file place and I think one of the most stunning ones that we've done here is when we look at the winter texture pack I'm gonna grab this big old piece of concrete here we're gonna call this concrete 2 so let's go ahead and open that up now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna file place and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stretch the image out a bit you can certainly keep the dimensions if you want so our layer structure over here concrete 2 and then our PNG down below all right now we're gonna right click we're gonna duplicate the concrete and we're gonna drag it below so I have concrete above PNG in the middle concrete below now we're gonna work with this top top image okay now we're gonna come down here and you see this little half shaded circle we're going to click that is what is going to be called an adjustment layer and we're gonna make that upper concrete black and white alright so you see that it just turns this image black and white we don't have to mess with any of these sliders because what we're gonna do we're gonna do what's called the levels adjustment so make sure this is selected this next part doesn't work if this is not selected come over to your adjustments tab again and now apply what is called a levels adjustment Now this comes mostly out of affinity photo we do a lot with levels adjustments in photography and you're gonna shift the blacks in and the whites in remember you're trying to make a mask and black conceals white reveals so you almost want these two things touching one another the more contrast you have the more striking it's going to be on your texture file so I've got mine almost touching you could get away with you know something like this but you would get a lot of gray zone and that's not really what I'm looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make it pretty close to extreme and then I hit OK now make sure this is again selected everything folks we're doing has to do with this upper layer alright with this selected you come over to layer and you're going to hit rasterize to mask now what does that mean you'll see if you were to twirl this open you've got all of these adjustment layers in addition to the concrete when you rasterize it is going to take it and compress it into a raster pixel type of file you won't be able to adjust it anymore so by going to here and hitting rasterize to mask it's taking it now and it's compressing it and it's interpreting it like you want to use it in a mask and you see what it's started to do now we're gonna come over to our layers panel we're gonna right click and now we're going to mask it to the below layer alright now we've got some magic going let's look at this black on transparent PNG with a concrete too now you see that the mask is below the PNG the last step in this trick here let's go ahead and change the blend mode of my image to, to multiply and now you can adjust this image anywhere you want right I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adjust it over a little bit over here 
And then if you even wanted to adjust the mask, you could adjust the mask anywhere you wanted. So say I wanted a little bit more of the elephant, I could adjust the mask over here. So there's a lot of adjustment that's possible with your pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the mask over like that. Or I could leave it pretty close to where I found it. All right, so really that's the entire trick. Now. Let's go ahead and do another one just so I can show you how this works one more time. Now, if you're barely holding onto the tail, go ahead and rewatch this portion of the tutorial. However, if you're ready for the next step, there's one more texture I'll show you. We're going to select this. I'm going to delete the concrete out. And now I'm just back to my plain old black image. Now we're going to go to File, Place, and I've included one of the Sono speakers from my house. So here, I'm gonna show you how we do one more step. So you can go through, take a picture of anything in your home. We're gonna grab this and stretch it out. And now I'm coming over to my vector crop tool. And I'm trimming out the pieces that I do not want to show. I'm gonna trim it to pretty much a square. All right, there we go. And now I've got a texture. I can stretch it. So you really can make anything a texture. Now you see here, we've got this crop here. In order to rasterize it, how do we do that? Layer, rasterize. Now watch the layers panel when I click this. Pow, pixel layer created, flattened image. Now we do the same exact thing we did before. Duplicate the image drag it to the below and then we're going to work on this upper image to do that come over to adjustments make it a black and white image you don't have to worry about the sliders why because we're going to make it a leveled image so now we make sure this is selected again folks it has a sneaky habit of unselecting itself then you come up to levels adjustment and remember Black conceals, white reveals, so you want a lot of contrast on your masks. Okay, I think we're pretty good there. And now how do we rasterize this thing to make it a mask? Go over to layers, rasterize it to a mask, and then we come back over to our layers panel, right click, mask to below, and there you go, you've got your texture with your image and the texture. All right, folks, that's a little bit about how to use textures. I hope you enjoy the texture packs. Go ahead and play around with them. Not all the textures are great for every application, like there's a brush texture in there, which applies to some areas that I found useful. But there's some like the snow and the ice to give some really awesome effects. All right, guys, hope you like that. If you like this one, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're interested in Affinity Designer, go ahead and check out the link at the bottom. We've got our link to the course, The Complete Guide to Affinity Designer. All right, folks, have a great week, and we'll see you in the next lessons.